on market place, you know, at 1029, particularly the start of fall. Uh, remember that? Yes. Exactly. I was going to say, I missed that. I, I got the little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit I couldn't believe Miranda was even on the news. I couldn't believe she would get on the news. Never forget these things after a while. I mean, talk about I keep waking up thinking of what happens with Miranda. I mean, it's been one month since that house burned down. And, I mean, everything's under investigation. I mean, it's just startled the whole town. Like, you just don't know where to start. Hopefully, tomorrow we'll be calling soon. I mean, I still cannot believe that Kayla is still in a coma. I mean, I just can't believe. I mean, this is book of Miranda. See, she was uh, also put into to what happens in school. Look so hot there, and like you know few pictures we actually have of her, um, she got out. She looked entirely different. Oh yeah, I'll catch you later. <laughs> Hi, this is Caitlin. Um, I heard the news about Miranda. Um, I was stopped on the street by Detective Biggs, and he told me that Miranda murdered six people. I, I didn't know anything about it. I mean, you know, she always was a little different. Like, I couldn't put my finger on it, but... I found, like, the, how she acted just to be a little odd, if you ask me. I mean... Hi, this is Caitlin again. And Detective Biggs just came by <clears throat> again. I mean, he's just becoming like an everyday figure in our house lately. Um, he wanted to know a little bit more about Miranda. See, there was so much more to it. She wanted to be in the in-group, like, ever since, you know, whenever. And she had, like, serious issues with other people, like, um... <clears throat> Well, let me think. There was a time in dance that she, like, uh, pushed me while she was trying to do a pirouette. And she really wasn't good at it at all. And so the other girls and I kind of, like, you know, ignored her. But I wouldn't see that to be any reason for her to, like, start going on a killing spree. I mean, you know, maybe you should, like, work out for I don't know but from whatever I heard that you know we know that Kayla <clears throat> is still in an, a coma and from what I heard um <clears throat> Miranda has something to do with it. see <clears throat> she let me sit down and tell you a little more um, because Detective Biggs told me to put this all on, you know, tape. Um, she was seeing this guy, Jason, which he's, you know, 
kind of hot, cute. But he, like, got into a lot of trouble. So he was, like, on the other side. And from what I heard, he thought Kayla was hot. And he flirted with her. And it so happened that Kayla was thrown into the back of the pool yard. You know, where there's, they play pool. And she's in a coma right now because she got hit with a brick. So they're starting to look into it thinking that Miranda did it. Also, there was a thing with the magic and the hoodoo and the voodoo that supposedly she had a curse on her. I mean, you know, the girl did seem kind of different. Sometimes she'd give you this look, like her eye. And her eye would just keep staring at you and you were like, what the? You know, so we kind of like ignored her a bit. But I don't think this should cause like killings. I mean, she was okay. I just don't know what to say. Anyway, uh, thank you. And...